Hello, and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of August 16th, 2018. I'm Brandon Zek. I'm Christina Reese. And we are in the summer doldrums. Mm, we're at the tail end. But we have some group shows, and there are still some solo shows happening even this far into the summer, which I think, even over the past couple of years, is a weird, awesome progression for the Texas art scene. Yeah. Speaking of one of those, number five this week is Karis Amon at uh, Inman Gallery. So uh, I've written about this artist's work before. She's a recent graduate of uh, the University of Houston's MFA program. She was in the MFA show. Uh, this exhibition is Inman's backroom gallery space, and it's a lot of uh, smaller scale paintings. There are some really nice, yeah, like really intimately sized, uh, but they're of just kind of general, very typical Houston subjects, freeways, construction scenes. Um, a lot of them are painted using encaustic. It's kind of impostoed. She's just a really good painter. She's gone through kind of a lot of different ways that her work has looked when she was at UH, and I really like what she's doing now, and I've always liked what she's been doing. So you have about nine days to see it. Catch it while it's up. It closes on August 25th. It's a really good summer solo show. So number four this week is up in uh, Lubbock. It's uh, at Louise Hopkins Underwood Center for the Arts. It's called 44 Artists from Texas. The curator, Linda Collum, has been putting the show. She'd been putting the show together for a while. This is the third installment of a three-part show. So we've got William Cannings and Nathaniel Donnett and David Lackey, Floyd Newsom, Howard Sherman's in the show, Jay, Jay Shin, Patrick Turk. It's just an, it's just celebrating the diversity of, of Texas artists. And um, this is up through September 29th at Luca. And it's the, th it's the last installment of the 44 Hours from Texas series. Number three this week is a show that it seems like we pick every summer. It's a show called Chaos at Row 2 Art in Dallas. Uh, you've seen the show recently. Yeah, I missed the opening. And last week we would have put this uh, in the top five to catch the opening because it's 134 artists, in, and mostly North Texas artists, but from all over. It's just one of these summer shows where all the, uh, the works are generally pretty small and pretty affordable. It's really just almost like a kind of crazy sales event, but it's fun and it's meant to take advantage of kind of the slower summer season. So, I mean, we've got, I mean, 134, what can I say? It's, you know, some of our favorites are in there. Scott Winterrod is in there. Pete Leon is in there. Um, Alex Paulus, a favorite of yours and mine, has about four paintings in the show. We've got Sarah Cordona. I saw some really nice pieces, some nice small pieces. One thing that's really nice about this, of course, it's hung salon style. But the names are prominent, the prices are prominent, there are a lot of red dots, but there's still a lot of really good stuff left, and it's open through September 8th. The nice thing about Chaos is it's always easy to discover something else or something that you like in the show. That is true. So it's worth a visit. That is true. Number two this week is a group show at Northern Southern in Austin. Uh, Northern Southern is a space, it's been around for a little while. It used to be kind of a little Northern Austin, but it recently moved to East Austin right next to Las Cruces. Um, this is a group show called Why Annual. It's a group show a lot of people from Austin, some people not, but um, Kel Brown, Caddy Wampus Press, Rachel Freeman, Roberto Jackson Harrington, uh, Matt McComer, Philip Niermeyer, who is the who runs Northern Southern. It's just a big group show, and you know I like Northern Southern. It's kind of a weird space. They have this awesome building that has a kind of a weird facade with like two little porthole windows. Um, it's it's a good space, and this will be a good group show. And you know everywhere is lazy during the summer, so go out, stop by Las Cruces, and see the Northern Southern. So number one on our list this week also opens this weekend, although the reception isn't until September. It's Mike Morris, also known as Michael A. Morris, a Dallas-based artist. This is in the uh, Hahn Gallery, which is in the Heyman Arts Library at SMU. He, okay, so Mike Morris, I really like and respect him. If I think about the way Dallas's art scene breaks up into see, kind of scenes or uh He's, I kind of think of him as one of the figureheads of the sort of new media, video, film, internet section of it. He's very thoughtful, he's really smart, but what he's done is he's done this, he's kind of installed this looping film system, um, and, he, and he really credits the people who helped him do this, Scott Martin, Brad Miller, Jeremy Spracklin, but it's, it's called ARC, and it's a cinematic installation. 
and he's made this film from archival 35 millimeter film prints that are held in the William Jones Film and Video Collection. So I think it's going to be interesting. I think one of the things that's going to be most interesting about it is how it's installed and the sort of innovative way that they've man managed to make it loop. But it opens on August 20th. It was curated by Emily Rugeberg, and the reception is September 14th. But you can see it on view from August 20th through November 4th. All right, so that is it for this week. What are you going to do this weekend, Brandon? That's a, that's a good question. I, I feel like we're getting close to the Harvey-versary. So I feel like Houston's kind of on edge. Oh, God. Yeah. Not, not a great anniversary, but nonetheless a very important one. All right, well, I'm going to Russia, so um, I'm going to go oh. see some art. Say hi to Vlad. <laughs>